good day this is the second 8470p elite or should i say hp elite book i will be placing a carry drive into it the carry drive is a serial 80 80 a hard drive adopter it lets you adopt a second hard drive to your laptop system that is if you want to back up data you'd be putting a second hard drive i have a one terabyte hard drive in it and it has a ssd hard drive this is the unit I'll be putting in. I just got it, but I haven't received the fan for the other laptop as yet. That's all there is in the box. This is the unit I'd be putting in. It comes with some screws. I do not know what the fit will be like yet. So we will find out together. If before I begin, if you're new to this channel, please like, comment, subscribe, click on the bell icon so you'll be notified of further videos. I usually post a video every Friday, sometimes uh, midweek. With all that said, let's begin. This is one of the easiest laptops i've come across to work on to place the carry drive you would flip your laptop over it has no screws on the back plate you move this key and you slide this on in previous videos i showed how to work on it now disconnect your battery you move you push the battery forward and you place it now to remove the cd-ram the cd-ram is what we would be taking out to remove the cd-ram there are two screws one here and one here this one is a phillips and this one you could either use a flat head screwdriver to remove it you slacken your screw the screw won't come out all the way it would be partially out in that way you won't misplace it and you do the same thing with the other screw it won't come out all the way either and you push your drive out this is the drive that's the cd-ram actually it's a dvd read writer and this is what we will be putting in So you take your drive, you put it in the unit, and you push to get it in. Once it's in, the screws
you would get your screws out. And the screws would be going uh, on the side. You would need a magnet tip screwdriver none of mine don't have magnets let me see if I could get it into this yes after I put in this one, I'll okay. <clears throat> the way you get the screw in is this here. You put a screw in there, and it fits on your screw. I guess everything was uh, thought of, but since it didn't, actually, no, it don't have instructions. And the last one, okay, this is it. Let me see how good it will fit. Actually, it doesn't have a A good fit at all It goes in good, but the casing, the cover, needs to work on. It has a good fit.
I guess to get a good fit, I would have to do some filing on this end. things for other on another unit and for you to fit it into this unit okay now you just put your cover on slide it, lock, put your badge free, and lock, turn the unit, let us see if it recognized. Okay, it did recognize it. This is the other drive. I will be taking out, it's there as a storage, I'll be taking out the things on it so I could back up my files. This is it for this video. If you find it was informative, please like, comment, subscribe, click on the bell icon so you'd be notified of further videos. This carry, you're taking out your CD drive. This is the CD DVD drive and you're putting in the carry. That's for extra storage. If you need to, a bigger hard drive or you'd have a lot of data to store. So right now this has two drives on it, one SSD and one manual drive. Goodbye until the next one.